I'm Richard Yao. These are my colleagues, Katie and Les. Uh, we are doing research on forest ecosystem services and we get to enjoy it as well. We get benefits from ecosystems in our everyday lives. The services that ecosystems provide are often grouped into four categories, provisioning, regulating, cultural, and supporting services like nutrient cycling and soil formation, which underpin the other three services. Examples of provisioning, regulating, and cultural categories can be seen in planted forests like the Fakarewarewa Forest here in Rotorua. Come with us and see. <music> Provisioning services include things that have a market value, like logs and timber. With a dollar value, provisioning services had traditionally been considered the most important. Regulating services control and regulate environmental processes such as erosion, flooding, capturing carbon, or improving water quality by reducing nutrient leaching. Cultural services include factors such as recreation, biodiversity, tourism, and spiritual aspects. Right, I'm the uh, forest manager for Lake Tapa Forest Trust. For some years now we've been interested in trying to explore ways that the, the services, eco ecological and environmental services we provide, can be at least identified and, and secondly, and ideally over time, rewarded in some way. And so we're quite enthused by the work that Scion's doing in trying to come up with ways of, of measuring these things. When all ecosystem services provided by a forest, such as biodiversity, recreation, avoided erosion, and water quality, are added together, a forest like Whakarewarewa is worth far more than the value of the timber alone. Knowing the costs and benefits of key ecosystem services can help people make land use decisions that are sustainable and will benefit us now and in the future.